15 years. My whole life. And how? 15 years. Alright. <laughs> Being in the whole screen. Uh, five years approximately. Eight years. Since the day I was born. How long is that? 65 and a half years. Nine, ten years. My whole life. And how long is that? 48 years. My whole life, 43 years. No, not really. Yes, a little bit. Yes, I am. Yep. Yes, I am. Yes. 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 A good idea for a new bridge because just of how old the bridge I think would be um, but yeah yeah I am for the new bridge because I feel like we need more traffic flow because of all the traffic we have and all the trucks and the work across the bridge and the people living across the bridge it's really hard at school times to get home yeah I'm both for and against the new bridge being built because um, this bridge, the old bridge, has a lot of historical value and the new bridge would help flow the traffic more. New bridge. Why or why not? Because it can make the traffic flow better and the uh, old bridge has got cancer in the concrete. I am definitely for the new bridge to be built because it will be a lot safer for the local people. It'll give them better access to the other side of the river during minimal flood times, and it's a safety issue. To bypass Richmond, we need to be able to get up into the mountains before we get caught in that traffic from Richmond. So the traffic from Richmond backs up from the M7 and then down into Penrith, and working in Windsor, the only way that I can get home without hitting too much traffic is going across that bridge and we get blocked by trucks and things like that. So it actually needs to be quite a much bigger bridge to be able to produce or to be able to funnel that traffic. Four. Why? Because the current bridge is very old and is unsafe. It needs to be replaced. Four. Why? Because the old one's no good. Okay. create more space for more trucks and cars especially for the quarries that are on the other side and stuff like that it would um, really benefit from having a new bridge and just telling people like about the new bridge what are you doing to try and stop the new bridge um, Maybe just saying like that the bridge isn't that good of an idea um, because they've got to cut down a lot of trees by the looks of it um, to and tear down houses for the new bridge to be built. Um, so okay. I'm not really doing anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a good idea. Okay. And what are you doing to try and stop the new bridge being built? I'm not doing anything. I reckon it should kind of get knocked down. Okay. Um, I'm not really doing anything really. I'm just telling people. And what are you doing to try and stop the new bridge being built? I'm um, showing people that this one has a lot of historic value, really. I'm not. The government, the state Liberal government, is doing a good enough job with the RMS telling people what's happening. Could go up. I'm not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't talk to anybody about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm not. The government's doing that. And we, we don't need any more dramas like the idiots up the tent are carrying on. I'm not. The government's doing their own advertising.
because there's a lot of traffic um, for better traffic flow and for mm, I've heard that um, the bridge um, is really old and we need it to be replaced so yeah I'm gonna guess for more traffic flow, so it's easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, because this one has apparently has crack, cracks in the pyres, like the pillars. Yeah, the pillars? No, the pyres. The word pyre. Oh. I think. I think. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but um, that it has a lot of traffic. No. Yes, I do. It is dangerous, all the pylons are rusting out, it is narrow, it has got uh, major structural damage and concrete cancer right throughout the bridge. And the bridge has been repaired many, many times and it is not up to modern day standards. They're trying to funnel traffic up the mountains and bypass Richmond and where all the traffic gets clogged across the Richmond Bridge. Yeah, the other one's no good. Okay. The current one's unsafe. about the new bridge and they are for the new bridge um, but they they are for the new bridge and like I don't disagree with them so yeah yes my whole family do you know that do you do they know about the new yes they do bridge replacements and what are their thoughts they do know about the bridge and they strongly agree that we should build a new bridge. What? None of my family lives in Hawkesbury. Okay. <laughs> yep. Do they know about the bridge replacement? Yep. What are their thoughts? Don't know. Haven't. Yes, all of my family live in the Hawkesbury. They all agree with the new bridge. They like the new bridge to be coming on quicker rather than later and they all agree with my thoughts. My mum, my sister and myself. Do they know about the bridge real place? They do. What are their thoughts? They think that it's a great idea and they are really looking forward to when they put the bridge in. I'm not yes, my whole family. Do they know about the new bridge replacement? Yes. What are their thoughts? Same. All of them. Do they know about the bridge replacement? Yes. What are their thoughts? They're for the new bridge. No, uh, all I know is just it was built a really <laughs> long time ago. 18, 18, 18. <laughs> <laughs> late 1800s. Okay, so um, in the late 1800s, I'm pretty sure it was built. So the bridge was built in 1860 and was finished in 1874. Yes, the first section of Windsor Bridge was built in 1874 and then after that it had multiple reconstructions and widening and lengthening and heightening. No. 1800s. Late 1800s. Two times a month. I don't use it very often. Not even once. I barely go over the bridge. Right. Not very often. The only time I really go across the bridge is when I go camping. Probably 80. Monthly, our yeah, place of business where I'm employed probably uses the bridge two to three times uh, daily, five days a week. Well, I drive it twice every day that I come to work. So. Probably twice a month. Once, once a week. Over 2,000? Over 2,500, I reckon. Right. I reckon about over 10,000 cars or vehicles use the bridge every day. 2,300? I think there would be 14 to 15,000 cars using the bridge <laughs> each day. 200? Probably about 15,000. 10,000? 